game all. Well, Haniel Hamami, player in your picture, she's just leveled this match at one game all Lovell. in our first semi final of 2021 US Open. You're live from Philadelphia. It's interesting that Shabini's opting to go forwards with the attacks rather than looking for the lengths. She's almost saying, right, you're volleying too much. I don't want you volleying, and I'm not going to give you that with the length. I'm going to take you in short first. can never settle, can you, in matches like this? Because you find something that's working and you can expect a response. And a player of these qualities, what they do is they sense it's what they're doing isn't working. And they'll switch it up and have a go with something else. And you have to be very adaptable all the time. Did you find yeah, it easy definitely. to sense that and, and adapt when you were playing? Uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> to, be, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. Did you have to wait for the coach to I tell need, you in between I games? No, I needed the pattern. And now one off. Again, an early error. That could be a warning sign. She's try her margins are getting lower. She's trying to do, do a lot with the ball. It's high risk squash. Like two bounces, no? Oh, look at it. No, no. No need. Well converted by Shabini. Now two one. This was that pickup that Shabini oh, no. was questioning. She got it nice and easily, yeah. to be honest. Never doubt the pace of El Hamami. Sublime. With a lot of control, <laughs> nice balance, step, swing. Stroke to Hamami. She got stuck. Uh, the problem is, is that Shabini got stuck at the point when Hamami wanted to go through. And it means that El Hamami couldn't get into the position she needed to hit that shot because of Shabini's position on the court. Down. Well, she's forcing it here, Shabini. Four this two. is a serious test. Brilliant. Really nicely finished by Shabini again. Four all. Uses this cross court so well. It's pretty much a guaranteed winner for her. From the left, please. This could be a big turning point for Shabini. Phil, she's she's settled with that rally. Gee whiz, Shahani and Mommy got that back. <laughs> oh, she's improved her forehand yeah. here, Mommy. Sure I think it's looking a lot more 
solid and she's getting it exactly where she needs it every single time in the preparation and in the shot. We're going to have a look at this at this pickup I thought it was good. Court. I thought it was good. Full extension. Really good reach to the oh, ball. Oh, no, it wasn't. That was two. Yep, shows what I know. It's a huge double. One, two. Yeah, two and a half. Yep, definitely down. It's a good spot by Shabini. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't. And myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I'm picking myself up there. <laughs> well done, Ashley. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think we need to see, see it uh, more times than that. And yeah, Al Mami's very fair oh, too. Not good. Five four right side. Two bounces. Right side five four. Oh, oh there it is. Yeah, I wonder. I, it's Six almost four. as if she gave herself a good talking to when that second boast went into the tin. Cut out the errors. Get yourself together. You're world number one. Stop messing around. She's just I'm seems impressed at how fluent you are in Egyptian. <laughs> Getting inside the mind. Oh, oh you, you didn't! <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> she just, again, it's, it's a guaranteed winning shot, that cross-court drop. Right side. I mean, slightly fortunate Seven here four. with this one. Gets her mammy scrambling, and then it's every time when she plays it, she converts the rally. She's got a four-point lead here. Down. Nine four. It's about as one-sided as we've seen this match so far. She read it and she's helping us out by telling us that and that ball should have nine. gone into that back right, not the boast. Shot. It's really nicely finished. Very solid drop shot here on the backhand Six, by El Hamami. Gets nice and low into the shot. Shabini's going to review this. Set right side, 7-9. No? Thought she asked for a review. No, I didn't, I didn't hear that. Yeah, it was, it was um, fairly clear no let. So she had a run of seven points in a row there, Al Shabini. And her, her, her mommy's put paid to it. Dangerous times for Shabini here. She really closed down that game. I think she's almost, dare I say, going short a, a little bit too soon in these exchanges. That's a better, a hold and a deep is, is a better option. But then you're dragging El Mami up. It's 
another no let. No let. It's a long way to that ball, and it's a high-quality shot from Hamani. This is where you see the fight and the maturity. It, it, it's actually insane, the, the, the left side playing Eight, maturity of Hamami at 21 to be playing these rallies, lengthening them out, no errors. If the opportunity is there, you take it, you're aggressive. Not getting nervous. And all of a sudden, she's from 4-9 down. She's looking at leveling it. Pressure into that front of the court. Huge Nine pressure on that one. And then punch down the line. What we say, she never ever gives up. Great character once again from Hamami. Decision's fine. Nine all. Oh my goodness. <laughs> really thought Trebini had her there with the trickle boast. Here we go. It's a chance. Oh. You have to say that that was probably fatigue that caused that error, the option of the boast. Court service, so please. Chabini asking for the court to be wiped as well. I'm sure she's feeling it out there. It's all about that physicality and the aggression that Hamami is showing. It's a strong rally, that one, from, from both players, but actually more so from Hamami. Five points in a row now for Hamami. Yeah. S six, actually, it was 9-4. Was it? Yeah. Not 9-5. Well, the break will definitely be helping Shabini, that's for sure. It's game all for Hamami, but Hamami has got Thank to make you. sure Left she looks side. after this serve. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, bet on Shabini smacking it into the nick if she can and she can't. That's a good serve. Oh, that's good. Really good from Shabini. Three times now, forcing Mami to come up, cover it. Yeah, it's good. Strong, powerful hitting into the back corners. No risk to squash Ten here off. from Shabini. It's all about the hold and then the, the speed of the racket head available. in the shot. So it's 10 all, and we're going into our first tie break. Strategy wise, or tactically at least, and that's what she has to focus on using that hold on that left wall and, and forcing Hamami up and around and up and around. 
tactically the boast is not helping her. Hamami's too fast up to that. To the oh gosh. That's very un Shabini like. And out. This is pressure. Pressure's getting to her. Another game, game ball. ball for Hamami. Oh, wow. Oh, that's brilliant. What's short? 12 10. Huge reaction from her mammy. She's also asking for a new ball Leaves, that she's allowed to, to do. On the, on the glass court with the white ball, you're allowed to ask for a new ball at the end of the third game. What a response, what a fight back by Hania Ohamami in that game. She's taken it, 12-10, 16 minutes of high-quality squash. She's leading Shabini by two games to one. Oh, well, we see Shabini's not in her seat. I'd like to see where, where she's gone walkabout to. But this was a very interesting third game. Hani Elmami gets off to the great start, st leads, looks to continue what she was doing in the second, attacking, being the aggressor. And then all of a sudden, Shabini settles herself, quits the unforced errors, and races to the 9 4 lead. And then, as she does, Elmami comes back point by point and is good enough to take the game. That was phenomenal.